Piri bada piri bada piri bada piri piri bada bada boop boop. Hey, this is Oingle, and we're on firing range, search and destroy. There's a couple of things about this video I want to talk about. One is rage quitting. The other is uh, just recording from theater mode, search and destroy videos, and then how awesome I did in this game, at least for me. That entire team rushes that side constantly. Uh, one of the standard uh, sort of uh, techniques of search and destroy is that you don't keep repeating yourself, and that's what this team does. So it makes it pretty easy for me to, to get in there. Now this is crazy. Is this a technique? Is this luck? This guy did a no-scope drag shot and got me at close range. I, I thought I totally had him, I was gonna knife him, and then he pulls that. Kudos to you, buddy. Anyway, um, so right there is an example of how I just, I edited out the video to just show my gameplay, and then because the theater mode, currently anyway, doesn't show uh, kill cams, uh, I went into theater mode and I just kind of showed it from different points of view. So that's what I'm doing here. So instead of this being, uh, you know, 12, 15 minute search and destroy, it's uh, this whole video is like six minutes. So tell me what you think of that, of, of just that technique uh, to be able to get these videos online to you and not have them be really dragged out and boring um, with, you know, theater's weaknesses. Um, so this is an example of uh, just showing you the kill cam, but using theater modes, different views um, against you. Okay, so I do really well in this game for me. I don't usually get crazy great scores. Uh, this game ends at 11 to 3, which is probably one of the best search and destroy scores I've ever gotten. He shoots me through the wall here. Um, and, uh, you know, and so I wanted to post it, and I was really excited. I, the game was nearly over, I was doing really well, and uh, then all of a sudden one of the guys rage quits. And so, to me, rage quitting, or dashboarding, or unplugging your PS3 or your Xbox, uh, so that, in the hopes that the network will just completely break, and Treyarch won't be able to record the game, and therefore, they won't record that you had a loss, and it you know, won't kill your, your kill-death ratio, it won't destroy your game streak that you're on, um, so tell me what you think. Do you think that's cheating? I I think it is, and I think it it artificially pumps up your kill streak and your KD, and obviously that's the goal. But then when I have an honest KD and an honest uh, win streak, uh, st you know stats, um, you know they look really weak compared to people who have manipulated it. Sort of like a resume or something like that when people pad their resume and. You know, and you don't. Oh, uh, this is, uh, so I'm sound whoring here. There's one guy left. I know it. He's going to come around one side or the other. Um, and I'm just sort of checking both directions. And I do something kind of weird here. I know he's coming from this direction, so I get on the ground. And I just kind of forget that this thing's going to obscure the view. And it gets in the way. And, you know, who knows? Maybe I would have got him. Maybe I wouldn't have. But that really was not the bright, the best move uh, for me. So there it is in a different view. Um, the other thing that I've been doing in Search and Destroy, and I never did this in Modern Warfare 2, and I think this game lends itself to it, is that this is based on watching a bunch of x videos and his Search and Destroy technique, and he, he rushes a lot. And uh, I started doing it, and typically what I do is, in a lot of games, is I'll rush maybe the first few minutes of the game and then I'll switch to uh, a slightly more defensive class like a, an assault rifle and then I'll move uh, ultimately to maybe something really stealthy because I know from my own gameplay uh, if I rush and I get that adrenaline going and I just keep running and running and running I start making mistakes and I keep thinking that I can make up for it by just rushing some more and I really just need to slow down a little bit and get a little smarter towards the end of the game. I don't know. It seems to work for me. Do you have techniques like that where you play differently at the beginning, the middle, and the end of a game? Um, and what are those techniques? Uh, is it different now for 
for Black Ops than Modern Warfare 2. Um, you know, I just kept pushing it, and, and I do this on a lot of game modes. Um, I, I've been finding some interesting opening rounds, and I usually run with a marathon uh, lightweight class. Uh, just for that first, I have a couple, I have a class or two just for doing that. And then I have, like I said, the typical classes that I might run in any game in the, for the middle, and then I have some sort of self classes at the end. Here I've got a self class that I pretty much run just for search and destroy. So again, let me know what you think about this editing technique. Let me know what you think about dashboarding and whether that's cheating. And tell me about if you have different game styles depending on the beginning, middle, and end of the game. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button. You can find my Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube links on oingle.com.